In this video, I'll show you how to fix your Fire TV stick not working. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. If you're finding that your TV stick isn't working, then I'm going to cover a range of different things that you can try. Because of course, when you say it isn't working, there's loads of different sort of things this could mean. But the first thing I recommend doing is simply doing a restart on your Fire Stick TV. Because sometimes you may just go uh, and power it off and not properly restart it. To restart it, what you need to do is go onto remote like so, and simply what we need to do is go and hold the select and OK button while holding the play pause button at the same time. So let's do that now, they need to be held exactly at the same time, so these two here, then hold right now, and it should go and take a moment, and then we should go and see a screen, which should say like powering off, just like that, it says your TV stick is powering off. It'll then go black and then it's going to go and reboot. So this is going to go and fix a lot of problems. As you can see, we can now go and see the Fire TV Stick logo. So wait for this to turn on and go and see if your problem has been fixed. If your problem still hasn't been fixed, then the next thing I recommend doing is completely unplugging your Fire TV Stick. Let's do that now. Here is my Fire TV Stick here. So what you want to do is firstly go and unplug it from your TV just like this. And then once you've unplugged it, you also want to go and take the power out as well. And literally just wait probably for around uh, 30 seconds to a minute just to make sure that it, and it completely powers off. And just while we wait for those 30 seconds, if you're experiencing a completely bright screen on your Fire TV stick, then what's worth trying is not using this sort of HDMI adapter, this sort of dongle, because if it's a black screen, then it's probably something to do with either the power or the connection. So yeah, try just plugging your TV stick straight uh, into a TV with the power, of course, and seeing if that works, if you're getting a black screen. And also, if you're getting a black screen as well, make sure it's all sort of connected properly, and you can try using a different power source as well. For example, if you're currently powering your TV stick from a USB on your TV, then try plugging it straight into the wall using the wall adapter. However, if you're not getting a black screen, then don't worry too much about that. I've now gone and plugged it back in, so let's see if it's now working. If after those methods you're still finding your Fire TV stick isn't working, then let's go and get into another fix. So what we can try doing is actually go and factory resetting our Fire TV stick, which is going to go and remove everything. So if there's any problems with it, hopefully they'll then be removed and we'll have to go and reconfigure it afterwards and download all the apps again and link your Amazon account and things like that. Uh, but it may go and fix the problem. So firstly, what you want to do is go onto your home page by clicking on the home button on your remote like so, just so you're here. Then what you need to do is go over to the right just by tapping uh, the right button like so. So we go and see that gear or cog icon. Once it's highlighted, then just go and tap on the down arrow like that. And what you'll need to do is go down to My Fire TV just here and wait for it to load. And then scroll down this page here until you go and see the option for Reset to Factory Defaults. You have to go and tap OK or Select there. And it'll then say you're about to reset your Amazon Fire TV stick to its original factory settings. Your sign-in information and personal preferences will be lost. So if you're you know, having a big problem with it, then it may be worth doing this. And hopefully that will go and fix the problem. I'm not going to go and reset it right now because I'm not experiencing the problem. But if you are, this method could be worth trying. So guys, I hope one of these methods did work for you. If they did, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.